I hit my All right, the teasing is over. I've teased you guys on what these wheels are that I'm putting on my Porsche 911. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to show you with uh, the help of my friends here. Turn around here. This is, uh, you guys know this guy here. Come here, Leo. This is my, this is my bodyguard, Leo. Leo the Shih Tzu. He has his own Facebook page, and he has more followers and likes than I do on all my media put together, just on Facebook. So uh, if you like him, go to Leo the Shih Tzu on Facebook and give him a like. Yeah. All right, so we'll start with the back wheel. So what I ended up getting was BBS CH, uh, CH-Rs or CHR, however you say it. Uh, let's put it over here, it's easier. So these were out of stock everywhere I looked. Uh, I went to Tire Rack and I went to a couple other places that said uh, they had them in stock, but then I actually put in an order and they quickly would call you and say, they're out of stock, we don't have any. So I got these from a shop in Virginia, ironically, where I used to live uh, in, in Virginia, uh, Southeast Virginia, where I used to live. Uh, the customer had ordered these and they were 19 inches and when he got them, he decided he wanted 20 inches. So they had a brand new set of wheels that they'd never installed. Um, and they were the only ones who had one that I could find. They had one on hand in stock. So since they had already ordered one, I don't know what they paid for them, but I got a little bit of a discount off the price, not much. Uh, and I got the wheels that I wanted anyways. So this is, pull this cover off. So this is the BBS CH-R. It's 19 by 12. And it's actually, it's pretty light. It's just It's just big and I, I don't want to drop it. Um, one thing I like about these is right here in the edge of it, it tells you the full size. Uh, so it's just a 12 inch wide by 19. And the offset is 45, which means I won't need to run spacers with these. I can put this wheel on with no spacers, which is gonna be awesome. So what tire are we gonna put on a 19 by 12 inch wheel? Well, I'm sitting on top of it right now. Let me cover this up again real quick. I don't want to get scratched up. So we're gonna put this tire. This is a Michelin Pilot, Mission Pilot Sport All Season for ZP. ZP stands for Zero Pressure. So these are run flats. Uh, they're also all season. It's a 325 30 19. So to my knowledge, there's only two or three cars that use a tire this size. Porsche 911, Corvette, and I want to say Mustang. Uh, I think you can put this on a Camaro too, but I'm not sure who has, but for, for sure, Corvettes and Porsches use this size of tire uh, on some trims. Uh, so I got this, this is the exact same size that you would get on the GT3 RS. Uh, well, the GT3 RS for my generation car. Uh, for the new generation car, it's a 20 or I think it's a 21 inch wheel. This is a 19. So this big hunk of meat is gonna go on that tire. And for the front, I'll show you the tire first on that one. For the front, same tire, Michelin uh, Pilot Sport, or Pilot All Season 4s, ZP also, also zero pressure. These are new. Um, they, didn't use, they didn't have this size in zero pressure. They had it in the regular All Season 4s, but they didn't have it in the ZP. Uh, version so this is the Z the new one ZP and it's uh, 245 35 for the rear I went with 325 30 instead of 325 25 because it gives you a little bit more sidewall and you couldn't get this tire in 25 series anyways uh, which just means a little bit more comfortable ride same thing with the front the front I went with a 245 35 instead of 245 30 
because this model tire doesn't come in a, two, in a 235 or a 245-30. So it, it was, this was, I think, the smallest size you can get in this tire size. Um, all right, let me say it a different way. So the original tires, front tires, 235-35, and now I'm going to 245-35. That second number, 35, is 35% of the width of the tire is your sidewall. So this 245 millimeters wide, 35% of the sidewall. So if you have a wider tire and you're still running the same percentage sidewall, obviously the sidewall is gonna be a little bit bigger. Um, same with the rear. The rear OEM tire is a 305-30. Um, so if you go to 315 or 325, you should go to a smaller percentage on that second number. You should have a 25 so that your overall diameter doesn't change. Well, these are the tires I wanted because I drive my Porsche every day. I drive it cold, cold, dry, sunny, snowy, doesn't matter. Uh, I also don't want to put winter tires on it because I don't go trekking it through the mountains. I drive it in the snow when I need to, when it snows here, but it doesn't snow all the time. And I don't want to put on summer tires because I also don't track my car. I drive it on the street as a daily. So these tires are perfect exactly for what I'm looking for. Um, one of the ways I also figured out the size was that you well, the easy ways, I looked at other Porsche 911 models and almost all of them use the same size tire except when you go to a GT3 RS. Uh, obviously a GT3 RS is a center lock, it's a different wheel, so it uses a completely different tire. But uh, size-wise, that tire fits on the same body. The GT3 RS of my generation car is essentially the same body as my car. Different front, front and rear bumpers and fascia and aero pieces, but essentially the same body. So these tires should fit just fine. I did do a fitment uh, measurement the other day. I teased that on my Instagram. I put the wheels on the car, felt all around it and I didn't, didn't see any fitment issues whatsoever. Uh, I didn't show you the front tire. Let me show you the front while, while I'm talking. So the other thing I did to, to make sure that these tires are good was I went to, you can Google tire size calculator. And if you go in tire size calculator, you can put in a comparison and you can compare one tire, versus, one tire size versus the other. And it'll tell you revolutions per uh, per mile and speed and it gives you everything so it tells you if you change your tire size what it how much bigger or taller or wider or everything is your tire and how much it will offset your speedometer the tire selection that I've chosen had the most negligible minimal impact so at 60 at 70 let's say 70 70 miles an hour my speedometer will be off one mile an hour or less with this size tires. Uh, when I looked at a smaller tire, or a less wide tire, I should say, and then I looked what was available in sidewall percentage, um, it just it didn't make sense. Like, uh, I could have got a 315 or even a, I want to say a 315, but it was like a 35. So it would have been a taller sidewall and it would throw your speedometer off by a lot more. Uh, this will keep my speedometer almost within within one mile per hour of the original specification. So that's good. So this is the front tire, or front wheel I should say. So my front, my OE wheels are 19 by eight. This is 19 by eight and a half. And the reason I got 19 by eight and a half, and I was happy to get 19 by eight and a half, so that a 245 can fit on there with no issues whatsoever. Uh, that 245 can also fit a can also fit the 19 by 8, no problem. Uh, but this, you know, with having the right size wheel to match the right size tires, you it'll look right. You you won't you don't have to worry about getting any bubbly look or like is the tire a little too fat, especially with Michelin's. If you look at tire rack is real good at this. If you go and move tire rack and look at uh, click on a tire size, whatever it is, and then look at specs of that tire, it'll tell you the width of it. So the tires on my car right now are Continentals. And one of the things I 
don't like about Continental. It's purely aesthetic. Um, they handle great. They they wear they wear out a little faster than they say they do, but it's no big deal. They're great handling, nice ride, uh, not too loud, but the Continental's sidewalls curve in a little bit, and the exact same size tire, both in the Continental and the Michelin. The Michelin tire is wider. Uh, if you look at the tr if you look at under a tire rack on the specs, it'll show you the tread width and the, the width of the tire and the Michelins are always wider by half an inch to an inch depending on the size of your tire that you're looking at uh, compared to Continentals. I don't know why that is. Uh, I haven't sp spoken to Michelin or Continental about it, um, but it, it's noticeable. Uh, let's just say that. Um, I had to run a different size tire on my Continentals right now than, than I wanted to run because I didn't want to do winter and summer. I wanted to do an all season. So I had to downsize my rears. The fronts are the OEM size. The rears are, are 285 when they should be 295. They should be 305 for summers and 295 for winters. But I sacrifice a little width because I don't, I don't track the car. And, and I've had no, no problems with grip or slipping or anything like that. So that's, that's a non-issue. Um, the only issue is it's just not as wide, so it doesn't look as good. But uh, these will solve that problem. So enough of me jabbering on and teasing you guys. Uh, let me give you a close-up of these wheels. All right, this is your unfiltered close-up. No gimmicks here, no, no trickery. So this is the front wheel. And these are made specifically for the Porsche. These are, uh, they make this exact same wheel in a universal. And I think the difference is the universal one has little holes between it. Not, not, they're not, uh, they're not holes for lug nuts. They just have like a lightning hole or something for some reason. Whereas these do not. These, and I've already, when I test fitted them the other day, I mounted them right up on, on the hubs and the rear, the rear face of this fits snug perfectly on the hub uh like it's because it's made for porsche uh this here comes off and i'll show you on the other wheel this is a protective little film this is a polished lip but i'm leaving it on here until the tires are mounted so that's the front wheel well i guess let me pull it out of the box too and see if i could show you where uh right here so right here, let me rotate it. Okay, so right here you can see where it says the model and the width. Check out, uh, and I'm guessing this is the day the wheel was made, September 9th, 2021, it makes sense, at 10.40 a.m. Uh, I don't know why it says 65 there. Maybe that's Inspector because this is a 51. It says it right here. 51 millimeter off, uh, offset, ET51. So 51, if this was an eight inch wheel, typically you wanna put a spacer on it so it pushes the wheel out a little bit, but because this is an eight and a half inch wheel, you won't need any spacer because the wheel itself is already wider. So when I put it mounted on the car, it's gonna st stick out a little wider automatically. Oh, this is a cool little feature I didn't notice. It's got like, I don't know if that's lightning to make it lighter or what? Little inlays. Hmm. All right, this is the big boy. So this one, I actually had to zoom out to wide angle so you can see the whole thing so it would fit in the frame. So this is the rear wheel. I'm just gonna this out of the way for a moment. Uh, 19 by 12, yes sir. And you can see if I come down here, see how how deep the lug, the hub goes. It's pretty deep. Here's the here's the lip I was telling you about. So it's a polished. Uh, it's it's aluminum. It's not chrome. It looks like chrome. It's really highly polished. It goes all the way around. And my question is, and I'm wondering, and I've already test fitted it. Do I keep BBS center caps or do I go with Porsche center caps? Hmm, that is the million dollar question. Do I keep the BBS logo there or do I put it, do I put it on Porsche? 
Maybe I'll just do the right side BBS and the left side Porsche or vice versa and see, see which I like better. Uh, as far as width goes, I'll try to do this with one hand. It's not super heavy, it's just big. Oh, as if I can. Yes, I can. There you go. That's what a 19 by 12 wheel looks like. It's freaking massive. And again, just the numbers are right here. There you go. There's your model number, 19, there's 12 inch wide, 19 diameter, and 45 millimeter offset. This also was test fitted. This is actually, this is a wheel that I uh, put in the teaser video um, that, I, that I released on Instagram this week that, uh, that showed that showed you uh, with a little music showing you what, what the wheel was that I chose. So yeah, I'm excited to put these on. It's gonna look, I think it's gonna look awesome. Uh, waiting for the weather to get better. Uh, if you guys have watched my Instagram yesterday, we had a ton, we had five inches of snow, followed by a lot of rain, cold, crappy weather, and uh, it's gonna rain, snow mix the next few days. Friday's gonna look nice. Uh, Friday should be nice. So we'll get these bad boys on there probably this weekend, hopefully. Uh, maybe Friday we'll, we'll get the tires mounted. I've got uh, I've got to go out of town for work, and then I'll be back. So there's the front tires again. There's the massive steamroller rear rear wheels, rear tires. I'm sorry. Uh, and pardon the mess. This is, I got a mess going on here right now. Uh, but we'll get all this straightened out. There you go, BBS CHR 19 inch for the Porsche 911. I just wanted to show those to you guys. And uh, I know I've been teasing it for a little while, for a couple days. Uh, somebody else had asked me, was I gonna get the, did I have the BBS FTWs? I know what we were talking about. And it's absolutely stunning. And I like, the classic look, because it looks like the, you know, the classic 911s from the 80s. Uh, my only problem with that wheel was the, the cost. This is a car I daily drive. It's not, uh, I, I don't just, I, I drive it in bad weather. Let's, let's just say that. Uh, if I was only gonna drive the car to like cars and coffee, car shows, events, sure, I would've, wouldn't have, wouldn't think twice. I would've bought those wheels. Uh, they were more than double the, they're about double the price of these. Um, but I'm going to drive this car a lot. And I'm going to put miles on it. And I'm going to drive it in all kinds of weather. And a set of BBS aluminum wheels, I think, are is probably my best choice uh, to, to put on this car to be a daily driver. And I, I, I really, as much as the other wheels are kind of a modern retro look, I like this style wheel. It's very classic. It's very... Porsche looking, if you will. Uh, and that's uh, and that's what I was looking for. I, I wanted to put a wheel on there that I could that I could mount the big tire that should be on there, but also so it looks has that nice cloth classic traditional look. Not not too bling, not too much bling, not too gaudy, not too fancy. Uh, looks good, looks a little bit better than, than the classics, but uh, still retains uh, its Porsche look. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Next time you see these wheels, they should be mounted on the car. Catch you later.